Kitchy. Well, thousands of us here in Kentucky and across bridges over the Ohio every day, but should you pay to do it? It's a question that's at the center of a study just released. Way3 investigator Janelle McDonald has been going through the pages of a study and data. She has the story. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet hired a consulting firm to do the study to look at the possibility of using tolls to pay for the Ohio River Bridges project. But how much and which bridges? Well, those are questions that stir up some pretty strong feelings. They are the steel and concrete connections for our lives. Well, I live out in Middletown, but I come over lots of times because I have friends that live over here. Uh, all my friends are in Louisville. Everybody I go see is in Louisville. Everything I do is in Louisville. And because people work over there. You know, they go back and forth every day. But someone has to pay for the bridges that link us together. State transportation officials want to know, should it be those of us who use them each day? What about paying a toll? You got to pay for it somehow, and it's either raise taxes to do it or put a toll on it. Well, they use tax money for everything else. Why not use it for that, too? A study just released Friday looked at the impact of tolls on travel. It found fewer of us would use the Kentuckiana bridges over the Ohio if forced to pay. 26,000 fewer vehicles crossing I-65 alone by the year 2030. But if there was a toll, the study finds the state could make some serious cash. It looked at the impact of tolls costing anywhere from 50 cents to $3. Not $3, no, absolutely not. How much is the most you'd be willing to pay? 50 cents. <laughs> Dollar. Too much a dollar would be like max, considering Louisville is a small, it's a small community, it's a big city, but it's still a small community. And, and which bridges should get a toll? The study looks at different scenarios. Just the new bridges on 65 and the East End. All four in Kentuckyana, or maybe even a toll for Spaghetti Junction. Uh, the uh, other bridges are already paid for. Why would you, you know, put a toll on the bridges that are already paid for? They could do it on 64, leave 65 alone. That'd be great. <laughs> the study says yes, more people would stop crossing the bridges if it cost them three bucks. But that toll on all four Kentuckiana bridges, that's the way the state could make the most. $602 million in 2024. That's the year the bridges project is scheduled to be done. You can read the whole study, including some of the options for collecting those tolls on wave3.com. Use the speed words bridge study. Meanwhile, the study itself takes no stand on if tolls should be collected and if they are, how much. In fact, it says the Transportation Cabinet needs to do more study if they go ahead with the idea of using tolls. Reporting from the newsroom, Janelle McDonald, Wave 3 News.